Hi everyone, we will be doing FRQ 6 of the 2022 Calc AB exam today. This is the last of 6 FRQ videos, so comment down below if I should go over other FRQs or just explain general Calc topics. Let's get to the problem. Particle P moves along the x-axis such that for time t greater than 0, its position is given by xp of t equals 6 minus 4e to the power of negative t. Particle Q moves along the y-axis such that for time t greater than 0, its velocity is given by vq of t equals 1 over t squared. At time t equals 1, the position of the particle Q is yq of 1 equals 2. This is a double particle problem, and we will have to do a lot of derivatives and antiderivatives. Part A tells us to find vp of t, the velocity of particle p, at time t. We are given that the position function is xp of t, so vp of t would just be xp prime of t. We take the derivative, and this equals to 4e to the power of negative t. Make sure you get the signs correct. Part B starts similarly. Find aq of t, the acceleration of the particle q, at time t. Find all times t for t greater than 0, when the speed of the particle q is decreasing. Justify your answer. aq of t equals vq prime of t, which equals negative 2 times t to the power of negative 3. Next, we find when the particle speed is decreasing. We have to check when the acceleration and velocity have opposite signs. Since vq has t squared, it is always positive. t is always positive, so the t cubed in aq is always positive as well. The negative sign at the start of aq makes it negative, however. Since aq of t and vq of t always have opposite signs for time t greater than zero, the speed of the particle q is decreasing for all times t greater than zero. In part c, we must find yq of t, the position of particle q at time t. Given the velocity vq, we can find the position yq by antideriving. We would get the integral of t to the power of negative 2 dt, which equals to t to the power of negative 1, divided by negative 1, and add c to all of that. To find the constant, we plug in the given point, yq of 1 equals 2. So negative 1 to the power of negative 1 plus c equals 2. c equals 2 plus 1, which equals 3. Our final answer would be negative 1 over t plus 3. In part d, we are asked, as t approaches infinity, which particle will eventually be farther from the origin? Give a reason for your answer. We can set up limits to show our work for this problem. We start with a limit as t approaches infinity of xp of t. We can write xp of t out and it becomes 6 minus 4 over e to the power of t. To solve this limit, we know that t becoming infinitely large causes the denominator to be large. This means that the fraction will become really small and we can ignore it. The limit for this would just be 6. For particle q, we set a limit to infinity of yq of t, which is from part c. For the same reason as the other limit, the answer would be 3. Particle p will eventually be further from the origin because the limit to infinity of particle p is greater than the limit to infinity of particle q. Alright, that was FRQ 6. It covered derivatives and integrals, which are base topics, and are really simple as long as you remember the formulas. Did you like this series of FRQ videos? Comment below if you want to see more or if you would want a video explaining on how I prepared for the Calc AB exam. Thanks for watching and I will post more Calc videos in the future, so make sure to subscribe to know when a new video releases.